Hello and welcome to Studio Lajo Cree. This is Larry Krieg's rail video number 33, part of the Japan Transportation Series, Nippo Line Action in Kyushu. No, that wasn't a bullet train that just went by. It was a regional express doing the kind of service that knits the high-speed Shinkansen backbone of the Japanese rail system to the many cities and towns that are not directly on the Shinkansen lines. We'll take a look at the train in more detail in a few moments. As you can see, I'm back in the USA at the video studio with my assistant Froggy. Say hello, Froggy. I shot this video last week on a blistering hot afternoon, so sit back and enjoy this in the comfort of your whatever place you watch it. I want to share this with you because I believe that excellence at all levels is necessary to make an ecologically sustainable system of public transportation possible. And Kyushu Railway, or JR Kyushu as it's known, illustrates this very well. A week ago Sunday, I traveled from Oita to Fukuoka on this line, the Nippo Main Line, Oita is the rail hub in, on the northeast coast of Kyushu, the southernmost of Japan's main islands. Lovely little city of about half a million. Fukuoka is the heart of the North Kyushu metro area of about five million people, similar in size and area to southeast Michigan. Kyushu Railway runs 31 round trips daily on the Nippo. Oita to Fukuoka is a little under two hours and a half. This makes the run comparable to the Michigan service known as Coast to Coast, which has been proposed and studied recently, Southeast Michigan to Grand Rapids and West Michigan. The Grand Rapids Holland area with about half a million people is comparable to Oita, while northern Kyushu, as I mentioned, is similar to the southeast Michigan metro area. And I really wanted to get a video of these handsome trains in action. So the next day, in spite of the heat wave, I went back to this little station to shoot some video. I chose Buzen Shoe because the express service runs through at full speed. There's a curve at the east end to demo the tilt feature. And the backdrop is lush vegetation within sight of the sea and a small Japanese town with lovely traditional architecture. Also, the station has a pedestrian overpass, so I could video from above as well as at platform level. J.R. Kyushu uses two types of EMU train sets on the Nippo line. They were both developed in the early 1990s and have elegantly designed interiors, but a top speed of only about 80 miles per hour. The modest top speed is compensated by the brisk acceleration of the AC-powered electric rolling stock, active tilt, allowing them to take many curves at full speed and doors that open automatically onto platforms level with the train floor, keeping the station stops short. But not all service is express, of course. The unsung hero of any route is the local train. This is J.R. Kyushu's model 813. 
The interior of 813s used on the neat bowl line are comfortably provided with well-padded seats that can be turned to face in the current direction of travel. Each side has three sets of remotely controlled doors painted in bright red on most 813s. The 813 design has proved successful since the first cars were put into service in 1994. They are manufactured by Kinki Shario with finishing and modifications done at J.R. Kyushu's Kokura shops. Six minor variants were delivered in 13 batches between 1994 and 2007. This batch was part of the 12th batch delivered in 2007. These lines are electrified with 20,000 volt 60 hertz AC current, providing plenty of kick for all types of trains. Track width is cake gauge. 3 feet 6 inches, or 1,067 millimeters, like most trackage in Japan. The 813 model is designed for a top operating speed of 75 mph and accelerates smartly. 246 cars are in operation on several Kyushu lines, configured in 82 sets of three cars each. Some are configured for urban service, with seats against the wall facing inward, to leave more room for standees while others are set up for local rural service with rows of 2x2 two two seats. Two types of rolling stock are used in limited express service on the Nippo line. The first is this energetic looking series 883 EMU in solid blue livery. These were designed and built to J.R. Kyushu specifications by Hitachi between 1994 and 2008. And they feel as energetic in action as they look in photos though their top speed is only about 80 miles per hour due to the 3 foot 6 inch gauge and the curving right of way. To compensate for the curves, active tilt is used, as can be seen in this clip as the train takes the curve east of Buzenshoi Station. J.R. Kyushu operates eight train sets of this series, composed of seven cars each. The interiors of the older ones have been refurbished, and the newer ones are quite elegant and comfortable. Okay, so let's take a look at the 885 series. Last year I rode an 885 from Nagasaki to Tosu. A nice fellow insisted on taking this photo in Nagasaki. I was fresh back from Australia, as you may have guessed. I had a chance to take several photos of the interior, including business green class, standard class, cell phone room, vestibule, Bathroom. And control cab. Here's the clip of an 885 coming through the Zenshoe again. The train appears to have been wrapped to celebrate the signing on of Spanish soccer football star Fernando Torres to the Kyushu team Sagantosu two weeks before this was shot. The 885 is actually one of many variants of the versatile Hitachi A train, which is used in several railways in Japan and others in Korea, China, Taiwan, Singapore, and Great Britain. The success of Hitachi's A train lies in its flexibility, its basic engineering, its lightweight strength, and its optional predictive tilt, demonstrated here in a JR Central 383 series on the rugged Chuo line in Shinano service between Nagano and Nagoya. The flexibility is due to its modular design. The basic chassis can have several types of shell mounted, custom interiors, custom ends, and a variety of electric propulsion systems. 
The fundamentals include aluminum shells constructed using Hitachi's patented friction welding technique, which is said to produce light but strong bodies with good crash energy management. The earliest A-train went into service in 1988 for Tokyo Metro, shown in this photo by Ichikawa Taichi, featuring aluminum construction but without tilt. Notable variants include monorails used in ten cities, five countries. Two of the newest variants are British Rail Class 395, used in high-speed service, up to 140 miles per hour since 2012, and British Class 800, seen in this photo by Paul Bigland, being tested in 2015. They began service late in 2017. Quite a remarkable series. Now, here comes an unexpected bonus. This is Seven Stars in Kyushu, a classy cruise train for tourists. The locomotive is a Kawasaki DF200 diesel modified from the widely used DF-200 freight hall. The cruise train entered service in 2013. Here are a few publicity pics from the website cruisetrain-7stars.jp. Well, Froggy and I hope you enjoyed this look at an excellent rail service with top-notch rolling stock. We'll be back with more.